Good morning, guys. Uh, it's quite late already, 9.30. Um, I went to bed pretty early last night because, well, I was really tired. Um, so I went to bed at like 8 o'clock and then at 9 o'clock a truckload of Spanish people arrived and they kept it going till um, 11 o'clock this morning. So I thought, you know, well, I'll just get up a little bit early, uh, later instead this morning. But then they get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and start uh, chit-chattering and, you know, screaming, yelling. Well, not screaming, but, you know, just being loud in general. Some guys want to go to bed earlier and some guys want to sleep longer. So, you know, if you're gonna get up earlier than, you know, the majority, then at least have the decency to uh, show respect and just, you know, be quiet. So, yeah, it's a little later now, now than it was supposed to be, but hey, it is what it is. I'm going to get some uh, breakfast and stuff now, I think. Oof, this wasn't the right spot, was it? Yeah, 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 it is. Actually, it is. First, I'm going to get me fuel up. Okay, so that's done. There's a bunch of other bikers there as well. I wonder who those are. Bye. That was a bunch of German bikers. Uh, they're going home on the same ferry as me on Wednesday, so I guess I'll I'll see them then. Now, Loki has full tank and I need full tank. Just per procedure. So I'm going back to the cafe I was yesterday because I don't think there's a lot of a bunch of other places you can go at this time. It was supposed to be open at nine, so yeah. Let's grab a coffee, something to eat, and then uh, then head off. Oh, it must be uh, close to Kerlingarfjell, perhaps? The the mountain that me and Jörtur went up to. I think that was called Kerlingarfjell, and this is Kerlingardalur, so Kerlingar Valley. We'll find out. Let us see. It is anyway, it's pretty nice to get off the main road. Um, hello, little swans. I'm so impressed by the, the bird life here on the island. There's so many birds everywhere. There are seagulls and swans and geese and whatnot, the puffins and yeah, all that good stuff. surface keeps changing and changing from like sandy like sandy stuff to big rocks to really bumpy roads you know but hey what's new right Ooh. Probably lava, right? But everything here is, is lava, lava, it seems. 
Look at this. And it's all, it's quite hard. Like it's not like super solid rock, but it's not soft like a sandstone either. Awesome. gravel yes it is can I pass on this side think that you know hmm. what else could Iceland possibly has to offer and then there's stuff like this showing up and what, what is this nothingness and massiveness yes. that is so cool 
Iceland, I love you. I freaking love you. <laughs> oh, I definitely have to come back sometime. Svina Fjörs Jökul I guess it's the name of the glacier there Oh my god, it's massive! And this is only like a tiny, tiny little bit of it Can you believe it? What if that whole thing melted? I wonder how much water it would produce I get some exercise on my trips. <laughs> so we just check out all these stuff, climbing rocks and whatnot. But it is usually worth it every single time. So we're getting close to the massiveness right here. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. massive wow so here you can see the glacier from this side and then we are going to the third side near diamond beach in about 30 minutes Ooh. I can't get over how big it is Yes, we are. <laughs> no fault today.
Christ, this is insane. This is definitely one of those bucket list places where you have to go. My videos won't do it justice at all, and of course, uh, drones are prohibited. But oh my god, it's so pretty! It's so pretty. About an hour to go. Um, I'm freezing. <laughs> we just cold coming out with the glaciers there. Am I seriously gonna have the glacier as my neighbor sleeping tonight? <sighs> Hello, guys, from inside my tent. It is about nine o'clock in the evening. I arrived at camping. Um, had a little bit of eat. Uh, I'm just chilling and then. I was almost on my way to go to sleep before I remembered that I had forgot to show you on the map where I went today. You know, I've been doing this for two weeks already and still I keep forgetting silly stuff like this. So anyway, let me show you on the map. All right, so um, that's where I slept last night, number 13, as you can remember in week. Uh, started the day with a little detour up in this area. Um, that was super nice and green and all that strange black rocks. Continued following the ring road right here and ended up um, all the way up here actually. That's where I'm right now. So from here to here or the other way around. Quite the stretch actually. Um, Brandon Beach is. Where is it? this area I think isn't it yeah 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 around there anyway so tomorrow I am continuing probably riding all the way up to um Egenstadid. my ferry leaves at eight o'clock on Wednesday today's Monday so I got all day tomorrow and then quite a bit of time also on Wednesday to ride so what I think I'll do is where did I put oh, there it is For my pen. Uh, anyway, what I was saying, what I think I'll do is I'll just um, find a camp somewhere close to the city tomorrow and then I will just roam around in the area on Wednesday until the fair leaves, I think. <sighs> Second to last night tonight. That's kind of sad. All right, um, I gotta crawl out of my sleeping bag go to the toilet and then I'll go to sleep that's the worst part because it's quite cold it's probably like seven six seven degrees outside pretty chilly pretty damn chilly so getting out of the sleeping bag to like use the bathroom and stuff oh. not a fan anyway thank you for watching also this episode sorry for being such a messy head <laughs> sometimes it's just what it is I, yeah I am what I am it is what it is Right. hopefully I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow so uh, you know until then adios bye bye see you later <laughs>